You know, having our own airsoft arena in conjunction with our retail store is a great facilitator for us in that we get first-hand information from the people that are buying our guns as well as using them and real-time information as to what works, what doesn't work, and people's, you know, honest opinions of the products that we're selling. That way we're a little bit better informed as to, you know, answering the questions that you have about particular products. One gun that's been a huge standout lately that a lot of people have just been buying the crap out of this gun and loving it is the Elite Force M4 CQC. One of the most obvious reasons this gun has been so popular is it has a great custom CQB look to it right out of the box. I know a lot of people that have gone through a lot of trouble to take their M4 and convert it into this stubby CQB design. You don't have to do that with this model. Elite Force makes the CQB in a stubby M4 design without any kind of custom work necessary. One thing I've noticed with a lot of the guns at the Airsoft Arena is that probably 90% of the people that buy Airsoft guns put their own sights on it. So whatever sights came standard with that particular gun usually gets stripped off in the first week and the people put their own optic or sights on the gun. The Elite Force CQC comes with no sights on the upper rail, so you get to decide what kind of sight system you want to put on this particular gun. This gun is a very well thought out package that's pretty much custom designed for a specific job, which is pretty much playing indoor CQB airsoft. Obviously with a shorter barrel, you're not gonna be doing a lot outdoors with this unless you're playing in close quarters. One great example of how well this gun is thought out is something simple just like like the butt panel on the stock on this gun there's a lot of guns that are out there that we've sold that use crane stocks like this um, that the batteries are housed inside of it the problem is a lot of them have removable panels to put the batteries in those panels occasionally pop off now if you're in an indoor cqb range like ours you you're probably going to get lucky and get your parts back but if you're outdoors you're playing in leaves or you're playing in areas where you may not get your parts back you know, you're at a loss and a lot of times you're going to spend 20, 30, 40 bucks replacing the butt pad on your gun. The Elite Force has a hinged butt plate, which this seems really stupid, but this is fantastic because you're not going to lose the butt pad on this gun, so you're not going to be spending $20 every time the butt pad comes off of your gun. And that's just one example of how well this gun is thought out. As to the construction of the rest of the gun, the upper and the lower receiver are made out of a nylon fiber polymer material that I pretty much liken to the same stuff that Glock makes the frames of their handguns out of. I am very impressed with the durability of this particular material. I've seen a lot of guns made out of similar stuff that take a huge amount of abuse. I've seen them up at the arena, they get dropped, they get kicked around, and they just keep on going. Now, I'm not saying it's indestructible, I have seen them broken, but usually when they get broken it's under extreme situations where I think, you know, if somebody had a metal gun in the same situation, they probably would have broken them just as easily. So um, this is easily, to me, as durable as the full metal guns that are out there. The nice thing is that you're saving a lot of weight because of the polymer construction. One thing that's somewhat unique about this gun is that it uses a G36 style hop up that basically turns along the axis of the barrel rather than turning sideways. Some people like them, some people don't like them. I think it's a little bit easier to get a gloved finger in there to adjust the hop up settings. Although honestly, if you're using the same BBs all the time and the same weight, you're not going to be readjusting your hop up that often. So, you know, although it is easier to get in there to adjust it, this is something that you're probably not going to be messing around with that much anyway. In order to field strip the gun, you just simply remove the pin from the front of the receiver and then slide the upper receiver off of the lower receiver, exposing the gearbox and the upper receiver and the barrel. If you ever need to clear a jam, it's pretty easy to get to the barrel assembly. It just simply slides out and here you can get a better look of the unusual design of the hop-up for the CQC. I disassembled the gun down to the gearbox to get an idea of what was going on inside of the gun and I actually made a few interesting discoveries about this particular gun that I think make it somewhat unique. First of all, it does have a quick release panel on the back of the gearbox in order to remove the spring assembly from it. Now with most guns you have to completely disassemble the gearbox and then remove the spring out that way which takes quite a while and you have to reassemble the gearbox which if you've ever done that is a you know an experience all in itself which most of you don't want to have to go through. Um, the nice part is you can just simply just take a six millimeter wrench and remove the spring just by rotating it and the spring just pulls right out of the back of the gearbox so if you want to be able to change the velocity of the gun you can just simply pull the spring out of the back 
and put a new spring in it and off you go. So if you're comfortable making these kind of modifications, this is a great feature. If you're not comfortable pulling gearboxes out of the guns, I'd say don't worry about it. Don't do that kind of thing. But from my standpoint as a tech that works on these kind of guns, if somebody came in with a gun and wanted to you know, swap out the spring, this is like a five or 10 minute job. So we'd be able to do it very quickly. Now, it's also an important thing to mention. If you buy the gun from us and you have this kind of issue, you bring the gun in, we're probably just gonna knock the thing out and charge you maybe five bucks to do it where you know you buy it somewhere else good luck you may have to mail it out somewhere to do that if you're not comfortable doing this particular thing yourself the other unique feature about this gearbox is that it uses its own encapsulated micro switch for the trigger on this particular gun on most standard m4 version 2 gearboxes it uses a standard exposed trigger switch that looks like this it basically has two copper contacts that have a little wedge that go in between it that that basically completes the circuit and that's what fires the gun problem is is those have a lot of arcing and they tend to get buggered up from all the arcing in there. They get carbon build up and eventually quit working. This one, because it's encapsulated, hopefully is not going to be subject to the same problems of the exposed trigger switches. And you can hear when you pull the trigger, it has a nice clean sound to it. You can hear when it clicks, when it actually makes contact. So I think this is probably going to be a superior design. Although I have to say, I really want to see how this works out over the long run. But on its face, this seems like a really great idea. Now it's important to mention, if you're looking into buying this gun, most retailers that sell this sell it as a bare bones package. It's how it comes from the manufacturer. It does not come with a battery or a charger. If you buy it from us, we include it with a name brand 9.6 volt nunchuck battery as well as a smart charger, which is another upgrade. So you may look on other websites and think that you're saving a little bit of money. You're just, you're getting a lot less is what it boils down to. Now, of course, if you want to buy the guns from us as a bare bones package, we'll sell it to you without the battery or the charger. But as our standard package with this gun, it comes with all the accessories you need to get started. So that's the basics on the Elite Force M4 CQC. You know, I pretty much put this in the same category as the G&G Combat Machine Series, where this is an excellent intermediate grade gun, which is definitely a huge step up from a lot of the beginner and plastic guns that are out there. Although this is a polymer frame gun, I wouldn't call it a plastic gun because it's so much better quality than some of the ABSs and the other crap plastics that are out there. This is a huge step up from that. Of course, it comes with the same kind of warranty as the G guns and if you buy it from us we up the warranty to a full six month warranty so if you have any problems with a gun that you buy from us you know that we're going to stand behind the product if you want to find out more about it come on down to the showroom you can take a look at it for yourself or check it out on our website at replayairsoft.com so until the next time don't let the bastards get you down